The next one the same way. I'll do the next one in a minute. There's our opening. Now this could be, if it's, like I said, if it's below grade, if it's below grade, you're going to take your 1900 box, knock out wherever your wire is coming in. And this is really, honestly, this is kind of a big hole. Normally, I wouldn't make them that big. Um, but you're going to put this in, set it right there in the middle. You're going to shoot that in. You're going to put your nail in here, pop it open, one right there in the middle, boom, one shot. I can't do this because I put a hole in my drywall. Um, same thing with this. Coarse head throughs, coarse head screws. Remember, that's a that's. You see that right there, gentlemen? That's that's that plastic back there. You're gonna put this right on there. Hold it there. All right. You can put one, two screws in. I put two. This would be just like a two by four. Same thing as a 2x4, same thing. Okay? Run your wire down, drywall comes in, same thing. You might want to loosen it up a little bit if it's too tight. Once you, once you put foam around that, it's going to really tighten it up. So that's, you can see that's in there really good. Matter of fact, that's actually a little too tight. I'm going to back it off a little bit. There, that's better. Drop your wire in. Now see, I made this opening big enough that I can actually I can actually cut into this and not have to worry about it. This has got, that's two and a half inches right there. If you hold it at an angle, you're not going to get a deep cut. So you've got to get it. You've got to get it straight in there. Same thing, I'm going to go down the wall. right in the middle of that box. Now I'm going to go over to this one. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to stop right in the middle of that box. All right. And normally what I would suggest you do is already either have the line cut wherever you're going and then come back and drop all your boxes in or if you're making a bigger cut out for your box then get all your boxes in and come back and run your wire. Um, the easiest way to run the wire is I'm going to take my extension cord because this might be like 12, 13, 12 or 14 gauge. Um, Here you go. Right, what, we, what we're going to do is Go make this channel strong. Go this channel a couple times. Same thing here. Notice I got off there a little bit. That's yeah. okay. It's foam. <laughs> Not going to hurt anything. This will, pretend this is your wire coming out of your box. This is just a file. You need something kind of dull on the end, but thin enough to go into the foam. And then those guys, they like to see that wire way back in the wall. We're going to stop there. We're going to cut that out. Okay? If they see it like nice and tight like that, they won't make you put anything else in there. Only time you got to worry, um, and notice that I'm like here's a furring strip, and here's a furring strip. So this ain't this this wire is nowhere close to the drywall guys. Nowhere close. Only time, unlike regular studded walls, where they actually have to put that wire on the stud. You don't have to do that. Um, 
or you know run it in the cavity. So you can stay away from the furring strip. Only time you got to be careful is now you got to pull this wire out of the wall because it goes to my 